welcome back with another mukbang slash story time from Chick-fil-A. So today I'm going to talk about how I almost dated a scammer. So if y'all watched my last story time about the open relationship situation, y'all watched that first. We so had like a little background story of kind of how how this happened so i'm first up my my um my salad real quick y'all because i'm hungry but i'm not really i'm not really hungry but i am hungry at the same time and also y'all i've been trying to go on a diet so i'm trying to eat kind of light at night time so i won't be load it in the morning and i got also i need to make some more detox water and i made a short on that you know what i'm saying i've been doing videos left and right y'all i'll be, be trying i'll be trying okay so it come with these little seeds chili lime pepper peppers i'm not gonna use this in my I don't even mess with these. And this, I think these, it's like seasoned tortilla strips. And they come with chicken, y'all. Come with chicken, black beans, tomatoes, cheese. It smells good. It smells good. And I might get my Polynesian in here. Let me see. Where's my. Oh, there you go. Ooh. I'm gonna use this creamy salsa. So let me set this up real quick and now I'm gonna start on my video and my story time. Ooh. Okay, y'all, I'm kind of done with setting on my stuff. So I'm gonna tell y'all the story. So when I was in my open relationship or breakup or whatnot, um, I was still dating, talking to a few people. I talked to, in total, I talked to a good four people and just messaging them and like kind of seeing what's up they texted me first i never texted them first because i don't know like facebook is so it's it's so easy to text somebody on facebook like it's easy if someone messages you and you think they're cute or they look they look raw or they look decent text them back this is my iced tea oh it's so good so i texted with this one do back um, keep in mind, I was not trying to date nobody necessarily. And I was, yeah, I was still trying to be in this open relationship type of vibe. And I wanted to feel important. And I just still talked around and whatnot. Note, I did not cheat. I did not cheat. Basically, yeah, me and him, we was kind of like talking only on man once. So I just felt so like upset, a little bit depressed. But I wasn't that depressed because I was having people already wanted to talk to people. I was in a relationship. So yeah. So me and this boy, he um he told me that he sell um basically like cell phones. And he said it's perfectly legal, perfectly legal, and they kind of told me the steps on how to get like a free iPhone, I guess, and whatnot. And I didn't really care about that. I just want to talk to you, Link. And he was like, cause like he wanted, he wanted to be in my apartment, and I just met this dude. I'm not comfortable with you, and he was so upset about that. First, I said some said I was like, hey, you can pull up. My first impression of him, he was short. That's all I really thought about, about the whole situation. Like, he was so short. And I'm like, yeah, it's not going to work out. <laughs> it's not going to work out. It's not going to work out. Mm. No, sir. Mm. I was like, 
Um, I'll look. I look at him kind of crazy. I'm like, dude, how can you be that short? But his car was super warm, though. He had like a little Honda. Oh, our 2000 Honda. And it was super warm. And we talked to my man. But come out my situation being an open relationship. Because I let people know ahead of time, like, hey, I'm in an open relationship. So, y'all, it might be a little fling. You know what I'm saying? So. I told him that beforehand and kind of discussed about stuff. And I was kind of like, he's sweet, but you're too short. Sorry. So then, um, kind of talked about like random stuff about shoes, Nikes, and all of that. So after we done conversating, that's what we did. We texted on the phone. Now, actually, that was actually the the same day of that situation, y'all, about how, like, my boyfriend at the time snatched my phone and takes a dude about why he takes my girl with you. Because I was just like, you really, you wanted me to have a relationship with people, so I'm I'm doing it. Like, I'm not going to waste my time with nobody. So that was actually the same day. But after that day happened, um... I still kind of texted the dude, but not on a serious level because he was too short for me. And then he kind of like, we kind of like stopped talking after that for a minute. And he was trying to reconnect and like say, help me promote my business, we'll do. But the whole situation was so sus and they kept on like downplaying me becoming a business owner. And, and then like my old classmate, we're not really friends, but he's my old class. I got an old classmate. That he know everything about everybody, like oh my gosh, and y'all, y'all know y'all know this person, y'all know this person, but I know I know this classmate since middle school, so I can tell that he was kind of knows already. But he told me that his cousin got a phone from the dude that I was talk talking to. And he told me that he had a girlfriend. He had a girlfriend. And then they both was from New York or something like that. I'm like, what? Came all the way down here to sell some phones. Hmm. And then my classmate told me that he he wanna um he gonna he wanna know your credit score and about how like certain like if you've got a high credit score he can't help you with like getting the phone and it was so weird because why do they need why why do they need their credit score you know what I'm saying <laughs> and I put my head a kid I think I was like, hell no, I'm not gonna be nobody's side chick. I felt kind of weird. I'm like, dang, you see me like a side chick or something? I don't know. It was everything, the whole situation was kind of sus. Cause he wanted, I feel like he wanted to talk to me, but then he wanted to do business with me. I'm like, no, dude. I, I was just trying to flirt, not become business partners. And it seemed like you're doing some weird shit, but it was just it just like the overall process of him giving people phones, like free phones. It was kind of weird. You gotta meet him at Best Buy and get a phone, and gotta do these same sex steps. I'm like, all oh, this for a phone? I would not do that. Mm mm. Mm mm. Just recently, he actually texted me. 
No, I didn't respond back because I'm in I'm in a whole relationship that I'm happy in. A new one. So but it's crazy how like he act like he didn't want me or didn't want to talk to me at all, but he texts me again like Men are so weird. Like on some real BS. Men are weird. And I don't like men who like stuck up, like not stuck up, but all they like cocky in a way. And I'm like, don't. Mm. I don't like that either. That's not my cup of tea. Like, it's good to have confidence, but being cocky is two different things. So I didn't like that either. And first of all, I don't know. Overall, I was just kind of upset about like the not this situation, but I was upset about my last situation with my relationship at the time. So that news was so like like crazy to me. I'm like, what the heck? I'm literally like I don't know. I don't know if his 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 agenda was to like groom me into his business and like I put support with him and like he made more money because I'm I'm making I'm making him money and whatnot. I guess we should not do that. But dude she said at the first place. And then I decide on like figuring out what I want to do. But yeah, the overall, overall story, overall reason why I think this dude is a scammer, because like I don't know, he, it's hard, perfectly legal, but it's like how he know how he know how to do that, and like it's like all those phones are under his name supposedly. So like, what if he just dipped and y'all all messed up, your credit messed up and all that because of the phone bill? I don't know. I don't know. It's like a lot of trust in that situation. And I'm like, okay, that's weird. And then he like, on the phone, he was acting like, I'm at my grandma's house. And he talks like low when he was at his house. I'm like, dude, say this all. Mm -mm. That's why I'm glad you were short. So I don't even care. I don't even care about that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But thank y'all for watching. Make sure to comment, subscribe, and leave down questions below about the situation. Cause I think I think I told the story kind of weird. Cause it's so it's like I remember the details, but I just can't say it in words. It's so aggravating. But I see you in my next video.